bottom aluminum for the bracketry uh, just because it doesn't rust, doesn't need painting and it's lighter. So there'll be more drilling and cutting rather than welding. I'm going to put the radiator in place because the radiator sits down here in this gap and the intercooler is obviously going in front of it so I'm just going to put the radiator in place and then see where the intercooler can sit and then see here you've got these these panels to direct airflow into the rad from stock so I'll, I'll remove these from both sides and we'll see and then we'll see where where we can kind of bolt uh, an aluminium little support uh, for the intercooler. I'm hoping I can squeeze one of the mounts on here. So if you see, the radiator sits in here, in this gap, but this panel here, I should be able to drill in and bolt something to it that the intercooler can sit on for the bottom and then I'll have just a, a support to keep it in place rather than take the weight at the top. See there's potential there to use this or can bolt the intercooler and just drill two holes in here and bolt, bolt the intercooler up to that. Got the rad here and then this is where the intercooler is sitting and then there's a bit of a, a hole here. We can sacrifice some of this metal, that won't be an issue, but the chassis rail down here, I'm not gonna be cutting that at this point. So I'll just lift it up into position on the highest point that I can get. Oh, FedEx have just arrived. Hello, mate. Is this your name, mate? Mitchinson. Right, thank you. See you later. Thanks, mate. See ya. This is a very special package I've just received. This is such an unboxing channel. <laughs> We're just receiving packages all day long. So, just got a care package from Speeding Parts. As you may have seen in my intros and my outros and all my descriptions and the link in my bio of Instagram, everything is all uh, linking to speeding parts, which this channel is very, very proudly sponsored by. So we've just had some more overnight parts from Sweden from speeding parts. A um, few things special about this package is firstly, uh, it was gifted. Uh, so... That's amazing. Thank you very much, Speed and Parts, um, and Tobias, who I've been dealing with at Speed and Parts over the last couple of months. Um, and also, it's just what's contained in the box. So I think at this point, I'm going to put it in a separate video unboxing this box uh, because the, the mostly all parts for the same. The, well, it's for the oil. It's for the oil. Um, the oil lines, oil coolers, sandwich plate, there's all kinds of um, oil related things and there's some heat management stuff. So it, I'm going to have to go in a little bit of depth um, when I unbox it and explain everything in the box. So that can be for another day. Maybe the next couple of days I'll film uh, the unboxing and explain everything that's going on. Just a huge thank you to Speed and Parts uh, for supporting me on this journey and supporting the build. Because they're supporting me, uh, I'll try my best to give something back to them in terms of exposure, promotion, obviously. So uh, you guys have been supporting me by viewing, viewing this video. Same with the content on Instagram. Um, another, the best way you can support me at this point is to use my code that Speed and Parts have given me um, to get whatever you want on the Speed and Parts website. So use code DRIFTBRICKER, DRIFTBRICKER, use that code to get 10% off everything on the website. 
And as I've said before, they've got loads of red block specific parts, white block specific parts, loads of Volvo, BMW, Mercedes, American specific parts, and then they've got loads of general performance related parts, such as the intercooler that I'm fitting right now. That's from Speed and Parts. I bought that a month ago or so. Uh, and the quality's amazing, and so was the price. Um, so anyway, that's enough promotion for one video, I think. Let's um, crack on and continue investigating uh, the fitment of the intercooler. Man, we keep getting distracted on side quests and the last, all this week, every video, we just keep getting deliveries of parts and I get distracted. Okay, back to work. Right, before we were interrupted with all some parts deliveries from Sweden, this is where we were, so let's uh, lift up the intercooler and see where we're sitting once it's up and as high as it'll go, potentially bolted to the, this cross member thing. That's as high as it'll go, you know, we can finesse the position. It's just pretty tight. Um, so we might need to cut some metal out, like this area here. Just cut, cut something out there just to give us some space, but otherwise we can just curve, curve around here. The other side's kind of similar, but we've just got some uh, plastic brackets here for wiring, I guess. So we'll remove this. Um, this is just some sort of protection for the the bonnet gadget. So we can take that off as well. And then essentially, I think we're pretty much in the same similar position as on the other side. The mounting of the intercooler is the next thing that we'll look at. On the intercooler, on the top and the bottom, we have these welded on. Just for the ease um, of being able to bolt, bolt it to whatever I see fit really. So if we're having the intercooler this way around, so it's on the underside of this, so I'm thinking just to drill into this, now I can bolt the top of the intercooler to the underside of this and that's nice and sturdy that's not going anywhere so that'd be perfect for mounting the intercooler and also it'll help having the intercooler as high up as possible to avoid the chassis rails and then it'll be kind of floating at the bottom so what i'll do is see if we can make a brace to go across uh, if there's somewhere easy to bolt it um, just to support it uh, further, but this will very easily take all the weight. So it just measured uh, 17 and a half centimeters, 175 mil from the center point, either direction. So we've got 35, 35 centimeters, 350 mil. So that's the width of the bolts holes in the intercooler. So we'll be drilling the hole drilling hole in here and here is where the little marks that are made either side however just got to decide where to put them in terms of front or back because I like it you know to be up against the radiator uh, but we've got plenty of space there and also the if you can see there we are these are in the center of the intercooler as well. So we need to measure kind of the width, well, it's three inches, three inches wide, and it's halfway, so it's an inch and a half away from, you know, here. So we might have a little air gap, and then just kind of maybe drill a hole on this kind of end, and then just about gonna work, yep. just over six and a half mil so six and a half mil with the threads should be an m8 and an m8 bolt will be see if we can find one we'll go on a wander m8 should be uh like eight mil wide threads and a 13 ish 12 or 13 
um, mill spanner required to tighten it up. Found a couple of uh, couple of bolts, a couple of short M8s. They'll go in nicely. Got an M10 washer just just to give it a bit more uh, surface area to grab onto, but they should work absolutely fine. So now I think it's time we drill some holes in my car. So we're gonna drill a couple of holes where we've marked out here uh, with it being M8. We're gonna drill M8 holes. They don't need to be threaded or anything. They just need to be holes. front mounted a cooler on a car it's always a sign of horsepower isn't it i'm such a child come on then nice all right we're just in the audi car we're gonna go off to b&q uh i'm thinking for the lower support for the intercooler we'll just have like uh, coming off the lower radiator support just like a shape like that coming off coming off the lower rad support going up and then going across to the intercooler so I'm thinking of getting two L-shaped brackets and just kind of bolting everything together saves having to weld stuff up um, and I th so I'll either get some just um, L-shaped length of aluminium or I'll get just some L-shaped brackets as long as they're around about 60 mil long on each. So let's head to B&Q. Okay, Briggers, I think I've got a plan for the oil cooler. So, we've got two AN 10 fittings on the bottom. They need to go on the bottom so it drains out and things when I change the oil. So, if we come here to the car, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have uh, my brackets coming from the bottom uh, to secure the bottom of the intercooler and I'm gonna attach it to the lower brace here where the radiator sits so the secu the intercooler is going to be fully secure and it's not able to move it's going to be bolted from the top and the bottom so as for the oil cooler i'm thinking of extending the two brackets out of the intercooler and then have something go across like i've got some aluminium here to go across for the oil cooler to sit on. Now as for the fitting of the oil cooler, there's this brace here. So I could remove that 
but then I'm you know losing some structural integrity here and especially when I've actually mounted the intercooler to this I don't really want to do that so if I just keep this uh, here stock we've got still got the, the factory ducting either side as well so if I offer up the oil cooler sorry my tripod's missing the tripod's broken even. It does fit slightly to the left. So here it doesn't, I would have to move it forward, which is an option, but then, you know, we're kind of close to the, closer to the front bumper and things and the bash bar. I don't, I, I'd rather mount it as far back as possible. So this is hidden behind, you know, a lot more things. Um, and then it might at the bottom be at a nice height for my little plan with the, the bar going across. It's probably just gonna be easier to demonstrate. Let's get to work. So we've got the intercooler mounted. Got our little brackets at the bottom here with these bits sticking out. So we can put the oil cooler on something that we'll put across here. You know what time it is, brickers? It's time to take something else off the list. Intercooler mountain, done. Solid. Next will definitely be oil cooler mountain, so we'll get that mounted next. Right, Brickers, not sure uh, like where we are at the minute, but I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Thanks very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one.